Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in. Uh, I hope that everybody is having an awesome start to your week. I hope that you are living out your destiny moment by moment. Remember, no matter where you are right now, if you're still breathing, you are still in the fight. Okay. <clears throat> First, I want to remind you that there are always going to be links to resources uh, from uh, anything that I own and operate from the Visionators Institute, which is the primary source to Master Fitness 21, Myriad Business Solutions, and a bunch of others. But I want you to improve personally. You can always change business strategies. You can always adjust in what you're doing financially, but you need to be at your best. So a lot of the resources you're gonna find in the description box are gonna be for you becoming the best you can be so that you can achieve the best and you can have the best and you can do the best and be the best. So look in the description box. I haven't even made my decision about what I'm going to actually put as the resource. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about something that's immensely important. And this is more, about, while it's about being your best self, while, while, while it's about being the best that you can possibly be and achieving and doing all of that, it's also about health. It's about health. And one thing that I could tell you is a lot of times our inadequacies and our deficiencies are presented in, 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 in a manner that resembles something uh, that is completely opposite or diametrically opposite of what it is that we are re where we're really at. I'll give you a prime example. One of the things that I pay attention to a person that always says, I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. I do it. I do it. And they have this mindset that nobody can do it, but them or they don't want to trust anyone to do it. While that looks like a sign of strength, uh, while it disguises itself as a representation of strength and independence, what it truly is, is the uh, emergence uh, of a more nefarious truth and reality. And that is the trauma of disappointment and abandonment, the trauma of not being able to trust someone to do what it is they said they were going to do. Not Somebody not following through on promises, whether it's parents, whether it's a mate, uh, whether it's friends, whether it's a parent that left and, 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 and just walked out for good, uh, it shows up in ways that resemble strength because it was a defense mechanism to start with. It was something that's had to, had to be developed to say, I don't need it. I don't need you to do anything for me. I don't need you to tell me you love me. I don't need you to, 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 to lend me your strength. I don't, I'll be strong by myself. I'll do it for myself. I'll do it by myself. And what it does is it builds this wall that doesn't allow the person to feel. It doesn't allow the person to experience uh, disappointment and it doesn't allow the person to feel. But the problem is we live in a social world. We are built to perform and excel best when we are functioning as a social group, as a social collective. That's why the people you have in your circle is so important because they're gonna represent your capacity. It's not just about what you can do as an individual, it's also about what you can do as a collective group, especially within your circle, especially within your network, especially within people you are choosing to spend your time with. But the problem is when you're constantly saying, I don't need your help, when you're constantly saying, I'll do it for myself, or I'll do it myself, what, what you're doing is you're limiting your capacity. You have 24 hours a day. You can't do it all. Plus, you're gonna wear yourself out. Those are the superficial things. Here's the more, uh, great, here's the greater risk. You're not gonna heal because you're still operating from those hurts. You're still functioning from those hurts. You're still living your life based off of those disappointments, off of those frustrations, off of those feelings of abandonment. You're gonna have to learn how to move faster. Uh, you're gonna have to learn how to come to grips with the fact somebody lets you down but they don't represent the entire human race that they don't represent 
what's possible for you. There's somebody that won't let you down. There's somebody that will stand alongside of you and walk this thing out with you. There are multiple people who will come in and support you. There are people who will do more with you and for you than the people that have let you down. The people you thought should have automatically been there oftentimes are not the people that are there. I'll tell you something that will blow your mind that I personally can relate to. There are going to be times in the people that the people you're literally doing it for will not know how to love you, will not, not know how to appreciate you, will not understand what they have in front of them. And you're going to have to learn how to be okay with that because that's not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of them. You're going to have to heal. You're going to have to let it go. You're going to have to understand that while there is a, a, a much to be said about independence, independence is proper in within a certain context. There's a time you're going to need someone. There's a time someone's going to need you. There's a time that you're going to have to trust someone. There's a time you're going to have to build trust. You are not meant to live life alone. You're not meant to fight this alone. It's not about how you self make anything. It's about how you build and who you build with. I want to see you healthy. So be careful when you uh, see people who are constantly saying, I'll do it myself. And understand that underneath there's probably somewhere they've been let down. Or some, somewhere they learn to not trust people to do anything that mattered to them. And so they spend all their time doing it themselves and they never deal with what they nearly, really, really need to face. I want you to be able to face that. I want to help you face that. I want to help you overcome past trauma. I want to help you heal from trauma. Matter of fact, that's the link I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put the link in here for my course on healing emotional and psychological trauma. Uh, you can get the supported uh, supported course, which means you actually do the course with me. Obviously, that's a little more. Uh, or you can get the self-paced course where you do it by yourself and you put in the work. If you know you're a person that is uh, a, one that takes initiative and go in and you follow steps and you follow through, then the non-supported course is fine. If you're a person that you know, if somebody's not there to get you to do it, you probably won't do it. You probably need to support it, course. But what you do need to do is you do need to heal. I want to help you do that. I want to help you get past that. In the description box or in the post box, wherever you're watching this video at, look and see the link in the bottom of the course for healing uh, emotional and psychological trauma. And I look forward to working with you. Keep your head up, keep focused, keep pushing. You are still in the fight, you're still in the race. There's so much out there for you to have. Don't give up now.